Hello, I'm Tiffany and welcome to The Raw Report. One of former President Donald Trump's golf courses is under investigation for allegedly inflating and deflating the appraisals of a property. Biographer Michael D'Antonio addressed the new lawsuit on CNN Thursday and explained how drawing attention to himself as a successful businessman has ultimately led Trump into a financial freefall. Here's a clip from the discussion on CNN. Remember that Michael Cohen said that Donald Trump originally ran for president as a publicity stunt, that he thought that this would benefit his, con his companies, but he never imagined winning. So he wins and he finds himself in office. And during that period of time from 2016 to 2020, his fortunes declined precipitously. So this is a man who always said that he measured himself in dollars and cents and that his self-worth was really all tied up in how rich he was. And during that time period, he went from claiming 10 to 12 billion dollars net worth to Forbes determining that he's now at 2.5 million. So he's fallen off the Forbes list of richest Americans, and he's now facing in Westchester County another assault on his claims to his wealth. In that case, he's when he likes having a lot of money, he says the golf course is worth $50 million. When he doesn't want to pay his taxes, he says it's worth 1.4 million. Wouldn't it be nice if we could all inflate our assets when we want to claim to be mm -hmm. very rich and deflate them when it comes to paying our taxes? But then D'Antonio claimed that Trump will likely have serious problems with banks in the future, stating his properties have actually been on a watch list among lenders who are concerned that the revenues have fallen so fast that he won't be able to make payments on the loans he's taken out, D'Antonio said. And earlier this year, his partner in the two most effective developments he's ever made are saying they're considering getting out of this partnership. So that would drain him of the remaining cash flow that is keeping him afloat. So the presidency has been very bad for Donald Trump's business in the same way that it has been pretty bad for the rest of the world. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to visit rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.